Hello friends and welcome back to Big Fish Tales. Well, I alluded in my last video that I had a surprise for you. And today, I think it finally came together and I'm gonna try out this surprise. What's the surprise? A drone. It's the DG, DJI Mini 3. I picked up uh, the drone and I also got a bait release. Now the plan is to pick up the baits, fly them out as far as I want to, release the, 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 the bait with this remote, then fly the drone back, land, and then do some fishing. So let's see what we can do today. The uh, wind finally got down to where it was manageable. The temperature's uh, coming up. Tide is low, but since I'm flying the bait way out there, that shouldn't make a lot of difference. So let's see what we can find out. Let's see what, how this works. Hopefully, we won't sink, uh, crash and sink the drone. As you see, here's the drone. Okay, picked up the two out way. Here's my bait, and what I've done is I've rigged up a piece of fishing line, a hook on either end. Hopefully it'll, uh, it'll work. Take off, descend one meter. Okay, so now I've got two baits out there. Seem to work pretty well. I'm, I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. It'll just take some practice to polish it up and make it uh, go smoother. But I've got two baits out there quite a ways. Uh, I think uh, the wind is a little bit high, so it's uh, maybe not going as far as I want it to but it's still going away. So let's, uh, let's get some fishing done. Okay, friends, I'm gonna call it a day here in a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna call it a day because the battery on the, on the drone is about dead. Luckily, I've got two more batteries inbound. They should be here this weekend. I'm finding that it doesn't last too long. I was able to make uh, two trips out I may have done been able to make a third but uh, it was just getting low but uh, the main point is hey this thing works it works really good the, the, the one thing that I like about it is that I as I'm, as I'm flying out there I can point the camera straight down and look at the water underneath to verify you know what the spot looks like and also that uh, 
the baits actually dropped and how it went down. The, uh, the trip today though, I will say that uh, it was kind of a, a bummer that I, I'm almost here and then I remembered, oh shoot, I forgot the sand spikes. So I think I could have put more lines out had I had the, the spikes. But uh, with the setup that I've got here, then I just do it, mounted the uh, rods in the surf cart and it limited me to two, two lines. But I was ready to do four. Once those uh, batteries come in, then I'll be able to, to definitely get some more casting in. Oh, and I'm thinking that uh, I can hook up the battery uh, charger to my battery charger pack, my power pack. And in that case, I would be able to charge batteries while I'm out here. I think too, uh, once, uh, once I get more batteries in, I think I'd like to uh, to go and check out the uh, pier over there and see how it is uh, fishing from the pier with the drone. I think if it's uh, if I get out here and there's not too much wind, it'll be, it'll be doable. The wind is uh, does seem to be a, a limiting factor, but that's okay. It's just another uh, tool in the bag. Anyway, this has uh, been Big Fish Tales coming to you from the Atlantic Ocean Myrtle Beach State Park. Be sure to like and subscribe and hey, take a kid fishing.